Well, along similar lines, um, I was curious, I, as you've expanded Numenta and Palm, um, I was curious why you had chosen to, or why you have chosen to donate to Yale, um, a huge organization that uh, receives many mm -hmm. uh, monetary donations every year, huge monetary donations. And I was curious, uh, you know, as a class uh, ourselves as a seminar that has $100,000 to work with, uh, what do you advise for us? Uh, you chose to donate to a large organization like Yale versus a smaller organization. And, you know, searching and looking into various organizations ourselves, we're wondering why, whether we should choose the Against Malaria Foundation that ha uh, serves m many, um, many people that suffer from malaria in, um, in African countries that support, you know, they, they give nets and that go over the beds and uh, it saves many lives. Mm -hmm. Or should we look towards more to locally to the Columbus House that, um, you know, provides a safe haven for mm -hmm. um, people suffering from homelessness right in our area? And I was wondering kind of what you suggest for us and, and where we should look and, and yeah. what, you know. That's a, that's a great <laughs> question. There, first of all, I will tell you this, there's no bad cause. So if you're looking for the ones to come in, we can say, you know what, that's a bad cause. We're not going to invest in it. It just doesn't exist. All the causes are good. And you can sit here for the next 24 hours and tell me great causes. So uh, one does need to choose. And my husband and I kind of confronted this issue a few years ago and said, because we were just kind of randomly just picking things that sounded interesting and, you know, not really thinking about it. And we decided we had to think about this and be more deliberate about it. And so we actually came up with a system, and um, this is what our system looks like. I think you have to think about your own system, but I'll share our system with you. Um, we came up with a matrix, and we said across the top are things that are important to us. So the arts, education, addressing poverty. We're Jewish, so Jewish issues, whatever. We had, you know, the things across the top. And then down the side, we had kind of regional, local, um, regional, national, international. And then we took everything we were giving, all the dollars, and we plotted them in, in this to just say, well, what are we doing? Let's start out with a question of where are we giving money and understand it. And, and that process get, really opened my eyes to a few things because I realized there were some things that we weren't doing that we should be doing, some things that we were maybe overdoing that we didn't need to be doing. So um, we've used that as a framework for ourselves to figure out uh, which things we, we want to do. And um, we then can test things on that. So when something comes in that's in one of those areas, then we look and see, are we already invested enough in that area or not? Okay, is this something we should consider? And it gives us, it gives us a framework. Then we look at other criteria, like um, I think your question is a really good one of, you know, why give money to Yale when they have so much money? Because after all, you know, it's just a drop in the bucket. I'm not a billionaire. I'm not going to go, you know, give $100 million to build the next building here. I, I simply can't make that kind of an impact at Yale. So my impact is going to be far less. I, I gave money to the last campaign, and they, um, I, I dedicated it to uh, the new Bass Library just because that was such a big deal for me, uh, having spent CCL my whole career, <laughs> undergraduate career. <laughs> Um, and so, but it was, you know, it was enough to just get my plaque on the wall. So everybody calls it Donna's Wall. So you can go visit my <laughs> plaque on the wall at CCL. It wasn't a building. Uh, so I'm not going to make an impact at Yale like other people can. But um, the, <laughs> the um, you know, still I feel it's important to participate. So I choose to participate at Yale. Um, I know as a member of the corporation that a huge percentage of the cost of educating a student here is not paid by tuition, even somebody paying full tuition. So uh, one needs to get that, the rest of that from donations or from the endowment. And so I feel I attended here on somebody else's money to a great extent. And so I need to provide that for you guys and the next generation. So I feel sometimes I'm giving for participation purposes because I feel like it's an institution that was important to me that I want to participate. Other times I'm giving where I really feel like our money and the scale we can give will make a difference, where, um, uh, where we can have a direct impact on what's going to happen. And without us, it wouldn't happen. And so those are, we, we have a mix of those things, I would say.